how do you know if you are under spiritual attack if there's the demonic realm coming after you or if it's actually just normal circumstances what is the difference and how can you know if this is a natural problem or something going on in the supernatural here are some signs that will tell you if you're getting attacked number one is this is a lot of times if it's a spiritual thing it's not a a logical normal thing okay so this is what i look for is it not logical is there no reason like did it just kind of come out of nowhere so to speak a lot of times when it's spiritual it just appears out of nowhere all of a sudden it's almost like the opposite of a uh, a god confirmation god confirmations he'll confirm two or three times that he's doing something with with you okay and like gideon he wanted multiple confirmations that what what god was doing okay and so it'll almost be like that in the spiritual realm as well for the demonic there will almost be like demonic confirmations where you are just getting hammered and attacked from all angles. And that's one sign to know that it's not just you, but there's actually something spiritual happening. So maybe reoccurring like demonic confirmations, but also when it's sudden things, okay? And this can be something like an abnormal stress, like out of nowhere, abnormal fear, abnormal anxiety, despair, hopelessness, an abnormal physical pain, things like that. That can be a... Uh, or an abnormal nightmare. These can all be spiritual attacks coming against you. Like there was a time when I was uh, living as a missionary in Cambodia, and there was a, there was a night when all of a sudden I just woke up and I was scared to death, like out of nowhere, just terrified. And I was convinced that we were getting attacked, like that the Khmer Rouge, the, the people from the genocide were attacking us. It was this unexplainable woke up fear. And all of a sudden I was sitting there and, uh, and I, and I was awake and I heard someone else rustling in the room and I said, Hey, is anyone awake? And all of my other roommates were also awake. They all suddenly woke up and they all were terrified. And we all, for some reason, out of nowhere, woke up at the same moment and were terrified with fear that's something spiritual going on that doesn't make any sense how could we all wake up at the exact same moment and all be deathly afraid there was a demonic attack coming in there was a spirit of fear trying to hit us all of a sudden as missionaries so that we could not be effective for the gospel okay this could also be sudden anxiety sudden um despair i see someone ask even tired yes yeah, sudden sudden fatigue that doesn't make sense out of nowhere totally could be right but but it has to it's almost like you can't tie a logical explanation to this it just it just appeared out of nowhere that's a good sign that it's actually something spiritual happening right now. I'm going to give you an example of this in Job chapter 1. We all know the story of Job, right? But check this out. See, Watch what happened with him. So it says in Job 1, it says, Now there was a day. This all happened suddenly in one day. Things took a turn, okay? That's a sign something spiritual is going on okay it says suddenly there was a day when his sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their oldest brother's house and a messenger came to job the oxen were plowing and do donkeys feeding beside them when uh sabians raided them and took them away and they've killed the servants with the edge of your sword and i alone have escaped to tell you so that's a horrible tragedy if you were like oh man if that happened to you what a tragedy. But check this out. It says, while he was still speaking, another also came in and said, the fire of God fell from heaven and burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them. And I alone have escaped. While he was still speaking, another came and said, the Chaldeans formed three bands, raided camels and took them away, right? And killed the servants. While he was still speaking, another came in and said, your sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their oldest brother's house and suddenly a great wind came across the wilderness and struck the four corners of the house and it fell on them and killed them so all of these are tragedies right but sometimes if just a tragedy happens in the moment that could be evil and and demonic for sure right but tragedies happen in this world and and maybe it's not spiritual it could have been the free will of man doing something evil or something right but in this case it's 
on this day while this was happening and then boom this happened and then boom this happened and it was all colliding and compounding suddenly out of nowhere at once this is a work of the devil right this is how you know when something demonic is going on in in your life when all hey real quick did you know that i have a bunch of free resources for you hit the links in the description below and i'm going to give you one free ebook on how to hear god's voice eight biblical ways on how to hear his voice and if you want to go deeper and learn to hear god we're taking a look at my bible study we've had so many people around the world go through it and it's helped activate them in how to hear god's voice but that's enough let's jump right back into the video when all of a sudden boom 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 it's like everything's hitting you at once and it's like evil okay so i want to show you uh an example in my life to maybe help um give you like a non a biblical example but just another example there was a time when i was living in this house okay and i was just feeling tired fatigued depressed it was it was a hard season in my life and i felt like i was getting attacked by the enemy but i was just like i don't know you know maybe it's just me and stuff i gotta work out and figure out things like that out of nowhere all of a sudden uh, I came outside one night and there were black widow spiders hanging from uh, outside my door, literally hanging. And there was tons of them. And then I looked everywhere. I looked, I was scared because there was a black widow on the door, on the side of the door, and they couldn't come into the house, but they were all around. They were on the, on the, on the ground. They were on the poles. They were everywhere. I, I took a whole entire thing of like a bottle of bug spray and I killed, I counted like 30 of them. Okay. So, and I was tripping out because usually you only see one black widow maybe. And it was every, it was like an infestation. Okay. And I'm thinking, this is crazy. And I didn't even know if it was spiritual. Right. But I just said, this is terrible. So I called the landlord. The landlord tries to reassure me like that's impossible. They've never had a black widow issue. They've had tenants who lived there for years. I don't know. And so I took a video and I filmed and I counted one, two, three, four, right? Because the next night when I came back and I could only find them at nighttime, the next time when I came back out, they were all back. There was like 20 or 30 of them again, right? So I filmed it, sent it to my landlord. The landlord told a exterminator and the exterminator reassured them, hey, that's impossible. Black widows don't live together. Black widows live on the ground. They don't hang from the ceilings. Uh, black widows don't do that. Even an infestation wouldn't look like that. So we had the guy come out, okay? And uh, the 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 professional inspector and he inspected it and he said he had never seen anything like this before in his life he said black widows don't do this i don't know what's going on right it was sudden it came out of nowhere it didn't make any logical sense the fruit of it was kill steal destroy things that can literally really hurt you if they bite you and and it was confirmed even by people saying this is bizarre i don't know what's going on and then, uh, and then, so what we did is we prayed, we, we, in the practical, we sprayed all this stuff to kill the spiders. They came back probably three or four times. So then what we did is we anointed the house. We blasted worship. We commanded that any spirit of death or attack or all the things to leave the house in Jesus name. We went around, right? And we, we responded with the opposite spirit. And then all of a sudden the black widow stopped appearing. And it was like, as soon as they were there and then they were just gone. Right. And so I can't explain that. And the professional could not explain that. And the landlords could not explain it. Nobody could explain how that many black widows all of a sudden would just appear seemingly overnight when for years there had been no sign of it. And then keep appearing even though they were trying to spray it and everything. And then all of a sudden a few weeks later, like a week later or so, no issue at all, right? So to me, I'm like, this is clearly something spiritual. So when we dealt with it spiritually, praying, worshiping, all this stuff, all of a sudden it went away and it turned. So when also when you deal with it spiritually and you pray, what happens to the issue? If all of a sudden there's a huge shift that happens that shows you this was something spiritual all along. Have you guys ever had encounters like that? Let me know in the comments. Have you ever had a crazy, bizarre, spiritual attack like that? Let me know, okay? So there are times though, right, when we don't want to over-spiritualize it, there are logical explanations sometimes. And that's what I'm saying is sometimes if you can logically figure it out, it might not be spiritual as well. Uh, I, I'll give you an example. There was a time when my car died. 
and be and and it was like oh this is the devil the devil's after me why uh and i'm like praying and i'm all this stuff right and i go to the mechanic and the mechanic was like dude the there was an oil leak and you never got it fixed why i warned you last time and you never fixed it why why didn't you fix it and i was like oh dang it <laughs> and it, it wasn't an attack of the enemy it was i was being irresponsible right and i lost a car that way right and so sometimes you can people think they're getting attacked when actually they just made some bad choices or other people are just being are, are attacking you what i do is i say look for the chink in your armor what i mean by that is we have this armor of god we put on like like these knights almost right and when you had a chink when you know, a hole a rusted spot a broken spot in your armor right here if I had a hole in my armor, the enemy could stab me right through that hole. There's a chink there, a hole there, and he could stab me there. And there's some times in our life where we have the armor of God, but because of bad choices we're making, sin we're living in, just irresponsibility, we're leaving an open hole right there in the middle of the armor. And then the devil will always take an opportunity. He'll wait for the perfect moment. And then when you're feeling weak, he'll stab you right there. And then we'll say, oh, the devil's doing it. And it's true. It's the devil, right? He wants to kill and destroy you. But sometimes our bad decisions allow that hole to be there. And so that's why I want to show you the difference. If, if, if there's a logical reasoning of like, Taylor, you didn't change your oil, maybe it was an attack the enemy, but maybe he was just riding on the coattails of my bad decisions, right? But if everything was covered up and good and out of nowhere, all these things are attacking me, then it's kind of like Job where I didn't do anything wrong. The devil's just, I'm under spiritual attack right now and I got to deal with this spiritually, okay? Have you guys ever had moments like that? Let me know in the comments. I would love, love to hear, okay? See, the devil here in Luke 4, 13, it says, when the devil had ended every temptation, he departed until an opportune, a more opportune time. See, the devil, he'll throw every temptation at you. And when it's not working, uh, he'll leave and he'll look for another time in your life to try to get you again. And we know with Jesus, when it happened on the cross, he tried to, he went in and tried to kill him on the cross, right? And so with us, devil's going to wait till he can find that chink in your armor and then he's going to take that moment to try to hit you when you're down okay so that's why we need to have that discerning of spirits and say i also need to put on my armor and make sure that i'm doing everything i can to be responsible and and cover myself spiritually okay as well Thanks so much for watching that clip from one of my live streams. If you want to hear the rest of the teaching and learn how to clean out the spiritual atmosphere, click on this video right here. And if you want to grow in discerning of spirits, what is discernment? How do I grow in that gift? Click right over here to do an in-depth teaching. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.